I just think it's a load of crap. The FFP you should be able to spend what you want to spend. It's like winning the lottery and being sold, you can only spend a thousand pounds a month. What's the point of being in it? Naturally today I'm going to be talking to fans as I normally do and whoever I bump into for this game against Burnley in the Premier League which you would expect, no disrespect to Burnley meant, but you would expect City to win, certainly there to be title challengers. Uh, but before we get on to today's game, yesterday when I went to the press conference um, I spoke to former City player Paul Lake who has a foot in both camps to a point because he did spend some time at Burnley as well is what he had to say. I've always had a place in my heart for Burnley since working there. I worked there as a physiotherapist and really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the people and that connection with the players and the club itself. I worked for the Premier League and I've worked with Burnley over the last few years. Got to know the academy manager, but more importantly, done some company work in there. So it's great to see him working there. Been, he's been working miracles, I'd suggest, for the players that he's got. Uh, they're playing a, a certain style of play. They'll be very attractive. I hope they stick with him. Um, but ultimately, we want City to have a great performance, to put Burnley to the sword and to keep the pressure on Liverpool. So, yeah, interesting. Want them to do well, just not tomorrow night. No, of course not, I'm, because Vinny's such a gentleman, isn't he? Yeah, he's brilliant, Vinny. And, and again, you know, he's worked so hard with Craig Bellamy. You know, they've got um, their philosophy really embedded. And with a, obviously a stronger squad, which is what they'll need, uh, I think they'll be a club that's going to be you know, having a, a long stay you know, in the top flight. But they need to invest, it's difficult. Uh, Vinny can only work with the tools that he's got at his disposal. But um, you know, he's dead genuine, uh, really positive and always has been and always will be a City legend. I get to thinking sometimes that I'm a bit of a City nut because I travel all over the place, but yeah. your journey for home games is far worse than mine, isn't it? Tell us your story. Well, I've been a season to go for about eight years. I retired for about five, but uh, the journey used to be interesting on an evening. Get home about four in the morning and work at eight. So it's a 520 mile round trip on my own generally with talk sport getting me angry. <laughs> so whereabouts yeah. are you from then? I'm from East Dorset. So uh, I've travelled, I've lived all over the country. I currently live in East Dorset, yeah. so I have lived in Manchester for a little while. How did you come to be a City fan then? Uh, well, for a long while I wasn't a fan at all. I was alive when we won the World Cup and I didn't know because my dad was in the army and I was overseas. So under pressure one day I decided to support the team that were the FA Cup holders when I was born, which happened to be the Troutman final. So, and then the rest is history. Most of it pretty grim, but what a great team to follow. You come so. up here early today because you said you don't normally get a chance to see this Colin Bell, Francis Lee, Mike, some of his statue. Well, I guess Colin Bell was my favorite player. And then it was Michael Johnson, who's the nearest thing we had to Colin Bell, and now Kevin. So I'm attracted to the kind of Never, never say die. Sort of players, really. The three, I would suggest, quite modest footballers too. Yeah, yeah. Kevin De Bruyne doesn't really realise just how good he is, does he? And Colin definitely didn't. What do you think of the statue then? Hold your thought for a moment. That's the statue we're talking about. What do you think of it? I think it's a, it's a great tribute. Whether it's an artist's view on what they look like. It's probably true, but uh, it's a great tribute to, to to probably three of the players who should really be four, because Neil Young should be there, really. He's the guy who scored all the goals. And he kind of gets overlooked to the point where he died pretty much a pauper, which is a great shame. I said in my introduction to today's video that I thought City would win fairly comfortably, and I didn't mean to be disrespectful, because I don't want to be arrogant, whatever happens. Do you see it that way today? Well, today's game, I see every game as a banana skin, just as it always has been. And um, hopefully we'll get one over on Burnley. We've been pretty successful for the last, well, I guess, ever since the Dyche period, we've been pretty successful against Burnley, normally getting four or five. Um, we'll see. Well, Ian, it's nice to see you again. My name's George, as you may well know, and I was formerly 
Manchester from Manchester City. When Manchester was a little bit different than he is now, he's furry now and he was he was a little cheeky mank back then, wasn't he? He was a cheeky mank and a funny mank and even if I do say so myself, Ian, the best there was. <laughs> so, yeah. And these days, your and today is a special day for you, I know, because your granddaughter's going to lead the team out. What does that mean to you? Um, honestly, I, I, yeah, I am proud. You know, I've been the mascot for Manchester City. My daughter's have been mascot, so we're at Stoke when, years ago, when Gerard Vickers used to score for City. And now my granddaughter's doing it with the World Club Champions. Very what's proud moment. What's she called? Elizabeth. Is she a lucky mascot? Do you think City will win? I do believe City will win. They didn't used to win when I was mascot, so maybe she got a little bit more luck than I've ever had. No, hence the white hair. <laughs> I think it's fair to say the weather has changed dramatically since it came down the, to the ground a little bit earlier on. It's now raining, it's now windy. So I think I'm going to get inside and talk to a few people away from the rain, which is now even falling on my camera lens. Well, it's changed a lot from main road to here. And like we were just talking about getting here, walking from Bessick all the way to Main Road and back. And we've moaned tonight because we've had a one hour walk, which is nothing really, is it? In the rain. In the rain. It's a bit wet out there, isn't it's it? It's very wet, yeah, but it's changed a lot. Obviously the money's made it change a lot. And the players, we've had amazing players in the past, but now it's a stream team. You just wouldn't imagine that. I wrote a newspaper column this week where I said that all this FFP talk is distracting people with just how good this team are on yeah. and off the field, what Pep's doing. And that's so true, isn't it? Yeah, and Sergio's come out this week, haven't he, and commented on it, saying you can't take away the skill of the sportsmanship. You can't take that away. And I just think it's a load of crap. The FFP you should be able to spend what you want to spend. It's like when in the lottery and being sold, you can only spend £1,000 a month. What's the point of being in it? I know the clubs have had money all these years. Probably broke FFP before FFP existed. Got away with it. And now they're trying to do us. But I, I believe in our owners and the statement they've issued. I do think we're not going to get charged with anything. I know it's a lot of charges, but I just think it's nonsense. I'll tell you what, I think something really big is going to come out of this. It might I be do. even the collapse of the Premier League. I think it will be. I think the Premier League, well, half of me thinks they may drop the charges, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But I believe in Pep and I believe in the owners. And if they're saying, I mean, they've actually said we're glad that it's happening because they can clear the name once and for all. You don't get a bigger statement than that, do you? So, yeah, I've got faith in the club. Total 100% behind them. So it's worth the walk from Beswick then? It certainly is worth the walk, yeah. But what I'm going to see hopefully tonight, and I've got the long walk back, but it's worth it. I'd walk 100 miles on hot coals for sister. Really would. Since Main Road, 1976. So you've been watching a long time? Yes. How does this compare now, what you're watching? Absolutely fabulous. I was, when the goat was, was playing, um, and Mika Richards and all of them, so I enjoy that. But obviously, coming here, We've got a different set of players, and I'm not saying that they were absolutely brilliant, but I followed them from uh, first division, when they went second division, went back up to first division, and then the Premier League. So I've been a supporter for a very long time, enjoy coming to the games. This is pretty good, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Not pretty good, it's brilliant. <laughs> Four or five Ireland off the bench, probably get a brace. De Bruyne, a few assists maybe. Any sympathy for Vinny being on the other side of this? Well, you can't really, can you? We know he's one of our own, like, but not in a game like this. It's all about us boys, isn't it? It's got to be that way, Al. It's got to be that way, cheesy, mate.
Yeah, well, City, um, if James's Pep is made, he'd be delighted. Nunez has been fantastic. He's been a real catalyst in the game for City. He's been so strong and strong with his running and great assist for the first goal. He'd be delighted with Doku, who's been a real constant threat there on the left-hand side. But the quality that they have all around the pitch, they look really bright and strong and urgent. And to be fair to Burnley, they haven't done a lot wrong, but it's just the quality of the City team. That's, if you do the second goal, it's an absolute peach. So the ball from De Bruyne. It's just two really intelligent players on the same wavelength. So I've really enjoyed the first half. And, um, you know, I can't see City relinquishing any sort of momentum in the game. You know, it's going to be a difficult second half. If you look at the quality that City have got on the bench tonight, there'll be players chomping at the bit to get on. So, so far, Pep will be obviously delayed with what he's seen. Alvarez will be wanting action for his birthday, won't he? He will, yeah. I mean, he's two great finishes. You know, Johnny on the spot. He's been really bright today. You know, his movement off the ball. He's such an intelligent player. And you got to admire the work rate of Doku, you know, De Bruyne, Alvarez. Even out of possession, have worked so hard to get the ball back. So, yeah, really great team performance so far. Well, we were just saying we were wondering whether we gave Vinny too much respect there. I mean, we normally beat them 5 and 6 nil sometimes, so um, I think maybe we probably eased off a little bit because it was Vinny. I think we've got to look at um, our final ball into the box. It seemed to be uh, a bit wasteful there, but, but um, still good, good result. Pets has a trick though, doesn't he, of being able to pick any team? Does he... You know, he altered it slightly tonight, and it still functions very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, but it's very fluid. They can sort of like players can come in and come up and go out, and we can still sort of play some really good football. So yeah, enjoyed it. But I think there were patches where we can sort of tighten up a little bit. Definitely, that was terrific. <laughs> but I didn't enjoy the traffic on the way over. Murder coming down the M50. He's a lead supporter, by the way. Please, so you've got a city scarf on. I know it made me. I do like him a bit. Did you, <laughs> you know why? The, did you watch the Great Leeds team? Oh, yeah, I was there. How does this compare? Then? I had season tickets. I had 20 years season ticket out of the So how does this compare, the City team? To the Leeds team? Not, not, nothing compares to Don Ravi's team. <laughs> it's a good team, though. This yeah. is a good team, though. This is a you know why it's a good team? Go Harland was born in Leeds. <laughs> Lovely to see you in. Enjoyed the game then. Oh, it's ma magic, oh, it's magic. Yeah. But a bit of a long journey, cold night, but you can't beat that, can you? All right. Looking forward to seeing you again. Good game. Um, City started off very well, but as the second half went on, they really struggled to get in the rhythm. A bit bitter, in and out really, and they keep playing too far from the back. They need that intensity to keep going and going and try and get the third, the fourth, and the fifth. But they did all right. It was business as usual. Played the game. Continues here. Champions again! Champions again! Champions again! Champions again. Champions again. Well, but overall, three points. We're on Liverpool, we're on them. Take care. Yeah, pretty routine win, I thought, tonight, Ian. But uh, good to see, like, Stonesy back and Erling back and the players. So uh, I think it's looking good from now to the end of the season. So come on, City. Are you feeling confident? I mean, obviously, there's two ways he could go with Liverpool. They could be buoyed up by him announcing he's going, or. They could yeah. fall away, but City play like this are going to be right in there, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. I think it. I think it's only us or Liverpool in it, but I'd like to think it's going to be us. Uh, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see which Liverpool, which way Liverpool go between now and the end of the season. But uh, I think we've got a bit between our teeth. And the underestimated birthday boy Julian Alvarez gets a couple again. Yeah, he yeah when he plays, he scores. It seems like, doesn't it? So yeah. And so the birthday boy Julian Alvarez, particularly with that second textbook goal, training ground goal, gets a brace on his birthday and still they'll underestimate him, won't they? Won't they? 14 million I think he cost. And they said that City buy titles. It's just clever, isn't it? He's a clever player and City are a clever club. Uh, thanks very much to MM Artwork and Mirrors, to Timson and to MotoringOffenseLawyers.com. If ever you've been in trouble with um, a sort of a motoring offence, and there are so many of them these days, then uh, get in contact with them, motoringoffencelawyers.com, and they'll, they'll try and help you out and tell them that Forever Blue sent you. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. And, uh, well, City March on, and who's to stop them? I know they're not top at the moment, but still great to be a blue.